government here in the United States of America, whether they want to acknowledge it or not, they can be ostriches all they want. But our, our top brass here in this government is in bed with these cartels. In bed with them. Because there is no excuse for this. We are America. We are the United States of America. Period. We are the absolute best of the best in this world. And I truly do believe that. And if you can have this much drugs coming over any border, shame on you. Because at the end of the day, this is flooding into where? Where does it always start? This is the second operation that Grady has done following and tracking our traffickers. Do you know that the first case he did, they just shipped it right in on the planes on our American Airlines and got it through security out of the airport and onto the streets of America, California, right? And I just find it awfully funny. Here's the second sting we've done. And it's going, we got the arrows going back to California, right out of Compton, baby, right out of Compton. And you got LA law enforcement officers that are too chicken shit and too scared. And it's not their fault. I, I want to be very clear. It's not their fault. They have crap for a governor. Sorry, Newsom. The, the lack of law and order. LA police department is an embarrassment. And I want to make sure I'm very clear on that. So all the haters out there that want to make videos about me, now would be a great time to do it. Because to be, to wear it, uh, once upon a time, to have that LAPD badge right there was a freaking honor. It was an honor to be a part of that elite outfit. It's a disgrace now. It's an embarrassment now. You know how we go out to these things and you got mainstream media and like, oh my God, social media is people in here. Uh, right? That's how I feel about LAPD. Absolutely worthless. And I feel bad for each and every officer out there because their life is truly in jeopardy because of the leadership that they have. And I can kind of understand why they can't lock, knock on doors because their brass, their embarrassment, their tarnished brass, top brass, their tarnished top brass doesn't know how to do law enforcement anymore. Doesn't know how to, doesn't know how to do this thing called law enforcement anymore. Apparently law enforcement for California is calling up the cartel and saying, hey, how can I assist you today? The California way, right? California way. So I'm pretty dis disgusted about this whole situation. I have to be honest with you. And what pisses me off even more is that this crap is coming to Florida, to Florida. And I've got to say, this is not welcome here. This is not welcome here. And thank God these people are off the streets. But you know what the worst part about it is? All three of these guys were pawns for that cartel. That cartel doesn't give a crap about these three men. That cartel does not care if these three men live or die. Those, car those cartel members right there that were just arrested by Grady, they've already got six more coming over here to take over their positions. And that is absolutely correct. None of these people should have been in this, in this country, let alone in the state of Florida. And if you don't think these cartels already have another person to stand in their place, you are wrong. So I guess the question would be, when's enough enough? When when have when 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 have we the citizens the bosses of this country? I, I just want to make sure that you guys know how powerful each and every one of you are, because you are very powerful, because you are the boss of this country. You have a voice and you have a way to get this stuff stopped. We have to fight all the time. Our government. I mean, that's why we're doing this stuff is to make sure that you know these these criminals go to jail. That we don't have another Leilani Simon situation where a woman can brutalize her son and get to sleep in her bed on double probation and can't pass a urinalysis that I have a problem with. So we do have to, you know, bring this stuff up and shine a light on it because you are a powerful person and you and your community could do amazing things. And you can be writing your governor, your sheriff and anybody else telling them this is not what we, we signed up for. We will not allow this to exist. And we're sick and tired of our government allowing these monsters and animals to prey on our children. We could do that. I know I'm doing it. Are you? If not, might be a great time to start. Might be a great time to start.